Hey everyone, good Monday afternoon, CPS 42, meteorologist Griffin Hardy, and today we are talking about the Southwest American Monsoon, which is set to flare up this week. Fun fact, this is the only part of the continental U.S. that actually experiences any type of monsoon. It happens in India, it happens in East Africa, and it happens in the desert Southwest. And here's basically how it works. So I know many of you may think of a monsoon as just a torrential downpour, downpour but all a monsoon really is, is just a seasonal reversal of the winds. And it happens in the Southwest mostly in the months of June and July, when the surface temperatures get really hot out there, you have this temperature difference that develops between the land and the ocean, and that causes a pressure difference. And as air moves from high to low pressure, you've got a wind pattern that starts to develop with those southerly winds carrying in a lot of tropical moisture into Arizona, New Mexico, uh, much of northern Mexico, the country that is, and you get these widespread showers and storms that form due to a monsoon flow. And it takes a little while for it to actually get going. Usually at around uh, late April or early May, a lot of that moisture is trapped south of the Gulf of California, and mostly it's being blocked in May and early June because of those cooler ocean temperatures in the northern Gulf of California. But as we kind of get into June and July and those ocean temperatures warm back up, uh, that's when those storms really start to get going across much of the desert southwest. And that's exactly what's about to happen uh, this upcoming week. We'll have this big push of tropical moisture that comes in from the Gulf of California that just sets up over extreme southeastern California and southern Arizona, giving them uh, really some much needed rainfall. This has been an area that's been uh, significantly impacted by exceptional drought. Right now, as it stands, 57% of the state of Arizona is in exceptional drought. So this rainfall that they're expecting over the next five days will be some much needed rainfall for sure. And that goes up into no, uh, New Mexico as well. Here are those rainfall totals. Places northeast of Phoenix probably going to pick up on uh, two inches of rain over the next five days as you get up into the mountain ranges and southern Arizona Sierra Vista potentially picking up up to four inches of rain over the next five days. That's really high considering it's a desert climate out there. Unfortunately for folks farther west in California, it doesn't look like the monsoon will extend far enough to the west for some of that rainfall to push over into the Great Basin area and even as far uh, it really only is kind of confined to uh, southern Utah, northern Arizona this week with Las Vegas kind of missing out on it and same with Salt Lake City. So uh, not everybody who needs the rain will get it this week. Here's that drought index. Again, 57% of Arizona included in an exceptional drought, that highest drought category also impacting uh, a lot of Southern California, uh, much of Nevada, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. This is a really widespread drought that they're seeing out West. At the same time, you've got excessive heat warnings uh, happening across a large chunk of this area as well. So really big combination of those two. Really some much needed rainfall is what they'll be getting this week. That's the main significance of this is that they really need the rain across much of uh, Arizona. So those forecast highs today, not crazy high across Arizona, but across California, still looking at upper triple digits out there. Uh, into, you know, places like Bakersfield, Palm Springs, Calexico, into those high 100s and low 110s for both today and for tomorrow. So definitely uh, some much needed rainfall for this part of the world. So that's your weather lesson for today. Be sure to stay in touch with me on Twitter, Instagram. You can reach out to me via email. Uh, and you could also find the forecast anytime for Central Alabama on CBS42.com weather. That's all for now. Have a great day, everyone.